Picasso Digital Assistants include Expenses Skill for the Employee Digital Assistant and Supplier Skill for the Supplier Digital Assistant. PeopleSoft Expenses enhances the Expenses Skill for the Employee Digital Assistant by utilizing PeopleSoft Intelligent Chatbot Assistant from Oracle, also known as Picasso. To access the Employee Digital Assistant, select the PeopleSoft Picasso button that appears in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. The Employee Digital Assistant identifies who is signed in and presents a short message. The Expenses skill is displayed. Select the right arrow to access another Employee Digital Assistant, like the Requisition skill. The Expense skill allows you to create wallet entries and inquire on expense reports. When you enter information to create a wallet entry, the Expenses skill indicates that the wallet entry was created and provides information from your entry. The View Modify Wallet Details button takes you to the Wallet Entry page where you can view or modify the transaction. The wallet entry is highlighted in the left column and indicates that it was created from the Expenses skill. Select Filter to display only transactions created from the Expenses skill. The Description field provides the conversation details. When inquiring on pending expense reports, the Digital Assistant performs a search and displays all results in a horizontal format. Select the right arrow to view additional transactions. You can view transaction details and optionally send a notification to the approver if needed. PeopleSoft enhances the Supplier Public Portal homepage by implementing the Supplier skill for the Supplier Digital Assistant. To access the Supplier skill, select the PeopleSoft Picasso button that appears in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. The Picasso button can be accessed from the User Registration, Public Bidding Events, Events Calendar, Announcements, and FAQ's Contact Us pages as well. Guest users, first-time bidders, or suppliers can use the supplier skill to inquire about business opportunities. The skill enables them to quickly accomplish different tasks related to user registration and bidding events through real-time communication. To start a conversation, select an option displayed on the screen or enter a query. When selecting bidding opportunities, the skill indicates how many bidding opportunities are found. Use the right and left arrows to scroll through them and select Take Me There to view its details. Narrow the search results by including appropriate keywords like event format, product category, time period, or different keyword combinations. In this example, the skill responds to a query that contains an event format, which is cell, and a product category, which is laptop. This completes our demonstration of Picasso Digital Assistance. Kibana dashboards include general ledger, budgets to actuals, and expenses, preparer violations, and operational metrics. PeopleSoft General Ledger adds two new Kibana dashboards to analyze departmental expense budgets versus actual spending. The first Kibana dashboard is the My Budget dashboard. This dashboard is designed for department managers to view their budgeted expenses versus actual expenses. Use the fiscal year and accounting period filters to determine a time frame. You can also select Level 2 and Level 3 Department nodes to filter the data. The Total Actuals to Budget, Remaining Budget by Period, and Top Expense Type Budgets provide three different views of your budget, actual spend, and remaining budget. These charts help to determine how much more can be spent before going over budget. The Details grid displays more information about the charts and allows you to select filters to slice and dice the charts above. The second Kibana dashboard is the Controller's Key Metrics dashboard. 
This dashboard provides similar information as the My Budget dashboard, but from a much broader scale. It's designed for controllers who need to view multiple departmental spending and sales compared to their respective budgets. As with all Kibana dashboards, use the filter section to select the fiscal year, accounting period, department nodes, and more. Various combinations of budget, actual expense, and revenue are displayed. Use the threshold dials at the bottom to view your top five departments' spending and sales performance. PeopleSoft Expenses adds two new Kibana dashboards to review travel policy violations. The first new dashboard is the My Proxy Expense Activity Dashboard. Use this dashboard if you're an assistant who creates expense reports on behalf of someone else. While entering multiple receipts for someone else, you may not be aware of travel and expense policy violations. In addition, you may be asked when an expense report is to be paid or, if it's denied, why it was denied. This dashboard helps you research and answer those questions. Use filters to narrow your view, including the Prepared For drop-down, which allows you to focus on an individual. You can also select your own name to focus on your expense violations. The dashboard displays who the top spenders are in the group, the stages of the expense reports, such as submitted, approved, or paid, which lines are not reimbursable and need to be removed or deleted from the expense report, whether credit card charges appear on an expense report within a specific number of days, and which expense reports are denied and by expense type. Let's select a person who you enter expense reports for. This example indicates that the majority of this employee's expense reports violate the receipt policy as well as the usage of non-preferred merchants. Scroll down to the grid and select View Details to access the expense report. The second Kibana dashboard is Performance and Operations. Use this dashboard if you're a manager, director, or if you monitor expense report activity and the adherence to company travel policy. This dashboard provides a view across the organization or business units to determine where expenses may be out of control. This dashboard is similar to the Travel and Expense Violations dashboard, but is not limited to only employees who perform approvals. The Performance and Operations dashboard has a wide view to get a consolidated idea of individuals who are part of your organization. This dashboard displays employees with the highest value of expense reports for the reporting time frame, the actual spend for various expense types, like airfare, hotels, meals, and so on, personal charges on corporate credit cards by employee, and which employees are making non-reimbursable charges. And, if you're using PeopleSoft Project Costing and have expenses that are billable against a project, the Expenses Billable Analysis chart shows the billable versus non-billable activity. Some organizations have a benchmark for approvals, indicating they should take place within a specific number of days. The average days from submission to approval indicates whether approvals are happening within the desired time frame. Employees have expectations that their expense reports are paid within a certain period of time. The average days from approver to payment tracks the average number of days an expense report takes from approval to payment. As with all Kibana dashboards, the grid at the bottom displays the filtered expense reports and you can select View Details to access the expense report. This completes our demonstration of Kibana dashboards. PeopleSoft enhances the approval framework by adding notification name at the approval event level. The notification name maps the notification preferences configured in PeopleTools and overrides the notification name specified at the approval transaction level. This completes the notification enhancements description. PeopleSoft enhances the Page and Field Configurator to include a new field source for system variables. 
This update allows you to select system variables, like the current date, as a default field value or criteria. You can use the current system date as criteria to determine whether to apply a configuration. In this example, the configuration takes effect after December 31, 2021. This completes the Page and Field Configurator System Variables feature description. Billing features include simple invoice request and expand invoice mass maintenance. Create a simple invoice request for users who are not familiar with the invoice creation process with PeopleTools Forms and Approver Builder. The My Forms component allows you to create an invoice form that has most fields complete for infrequent users. These users can quickly access the form, turn it into an express bill, and create the invoice in just a few steps. The predefined form saves them time and the need to know how to complete certain fields, like distribution codes, account numbers, and more. All forms that you can access are listed on this page. Select the Fill out a new form button to create a new form and to predefine certain values. Use the Invoice Request form to access the form for an express invoice in billing. This form is created using Form Designer in PeopleTools. Use the Invoice Request Form page to predefine values for the fields that appear on the Billing General page, like description, quantity, and so on. This allows users who are unfamiliar with the Billing General page to create a predefined invoice or create a similar invoice multiple times. After completing the form, submit the form for approval. As the form approver, use your notifications to access the form. Then review and approve the form. As an infrequent user, select the My Forms tile to access all forms that are approved and that you have permission to use. The newly approved form appears in the list. Use the Document Key String link to access the Billing General page. Review and submit the invoice. Notice that the system pulled in key field values from the form, such as customer, description, quantity, and so on. PeopleSoft Billing enhances the invoice mass maintenance functionality by adding additional fields. You can now update the accounting date, credit analyst, pay terms, bill inquiry phone, letter of credit ID, and letter of credit document ID fields for multiple invoices. This completes the billing features description. For Update Image 41, PeopleSoft adds the capability in Fluid Cache Forecast to save the search preferences based on user requirements. You can create a new search or delete an existing user-created search. This completes the Save Search in Fluid Cache Forecast feature description. E-Procurement features include Fluid Requisition Express Item Entry, and create requisition links. PeopleSoft e-Procurement enhances the fluid requisition process, enabling you to quickly create requisitions for catalog and special request items using the Express Entry option. Use this ad hoc requisition entry option when you need to quickly add requisition lines and know details like item ID, supplier, and unit of measure. The Supplier and Manufacturer Information tabs populate the default values set up for the selected catalog item. To add a special request item, enter the item description and other required fields. For special request items, the item ID is not available, and unlike catalog item lines, other fields do not display default values. After entering required field values like unit of measure, category, supplier, and manufacturer details, you can add the special request item to the cart. The Disable Special Request option on the eProcurement Fluid Installation Options page prevents special request lines from being entered through Express Entry.
In this case, the standard special request page should be used instead of express entry. Next, you can proceed to the checkout process. PeopleSoft eProcurement enhances the fluid requisition process by adding the budget checking status and pre-encumbrance balance links to the Create Requisition, Edit Requisition, and Save Confirmation pages. When you do a budget check, the system updates the pre-encumbrance amount and sets the budget status to Provisionally Valid, Valid, or Error. In case of a budget check error, you can click the error link and drill into the details to find out the cause. On the Review KK Requisition page, you can check the reasons for budget check failure and rectify them. This completes the e-procurement features description. When a user enters an expense report line that may be a duplicate of another expense report line, the Expenses system displays a warning at the top of the page. The system compares expense type, amount, and date to determine whether the line could be a duplicate with a previously submitted expense report. Use the Review Duplicate Lines button to access the Possible Duplicates Exist page. Then review the potential duplicate, indicate that it's been reviewed, and provide a reason if the duplicate is valid. Approvers are alerted to potential duplicates and can access the reason provided by the submitter. On the Possible Duplicates Exist page, approvers can view the reason given by the submitter and decide whether to accept or reject the duplicate entry. You can optionally configure your expenses system to require the duplicate line to be justified with a reason code. This prevents the expense report from being submitted to an approver without a reason code. This completes the Duplicate Expense Reports feature description. PeopleSoft Receivables adds the ability to create customer payment plans for item balances. Using this feature, you can select items to include in the plan, define payment plan details, and generate monthly installments. On the Payment Plan page, use Plan Type to indicate whether the plan is based on fixed monthly amounts, a set number of months, or custom. The Custom option enables you to create a plan based on user-defined installment amounts or percentage of the total amount due. The Plan Options section enables you to specify plan details, like number of months to include in the plan, and processing fee options. Use the Installment section to review monthly installment information, like item ID, due date, amount, and default payment method. When creating a custom plan, use this section to enter installment information. Finalize the payment plan using the Create Installment and Fees button. As part of this feature, several receivables pages include a payment plan column. The column provides the payment plan ID for each item. The ID links to the corresponding payment plan for the item. In addition, this feature provides the Payment Plan Report, which you can use to review payment plan details for a customer. This completes the Payment Plan Enhancements description. For Update Image 41, PeopleSoft introduces duplicate invoice checking for all payment requests before submission, review, and approval. You can proceed with voucher creation or reject the request based on the setup done at the business unit level. This completes the duplicate invoice checking for payment request feature description. PeopleSoft Grants enhances the Modify End Dates feature to update project end date on the budget definition component in Commitment Control. Based on the project end date and the default options on the Grants Business Unit, the new Commitment Control End Date field is populated automatically, in this case 15 days after the project end date. 
On the Business Unit Award Setup Definition page, you can define the Commitment Control Update options used on the Modify End Dates component. The system programmatically sets the end date for commitment control by adding the number of days entered here to the project end date. If you select the Allow User Override checkbox, you'll be able to modify the commitment control end date to another date on the Modify End Dates component. This completes the Automate End Date Extensions for Project Commitment Control feature description. PeopleSoft Asset Management enhances asset recategorization to allow updates to the asset reporting profile at the same time you recategorize the asset. On the Cost Information page, click the Update Asset Profile link to access the Update Asset Profile page and synchronize the reporting asset profile with the new asset category. Use the Update Asset Profile page to enter a new Asset Reporting Profile ID. An update to the Reporting Asset Profile ID does not change the Asset Book information or category. Profile updates after Asset Addition are for reporting purposes only. This completes the Recategorize Asset and Report Asset Profile in One Transaction feature description. PeopleSoft Supplier Contract Management enhances the DocuSign signing process to allow users to modify recipient information after a document has been submitted for signatures. On the Document Management page, click the Edit Recipients button to access the Edit Recipients page and modify recipient information. This button is only available for DocuSign documents. Use the Edit Recipients page to change the name or email address of a recipient, add or delete a signer, or change signing order. If you modify an email address or delete a signer, the system revokes their access to the document. For new recipients, the system assigns the users a signing role. This completes the Correction Mode for eSignature Enhancements description. Additional features added for FSCM Update Image 41 include using the Delegation Framework feature for Asset Management, Maintenance Management, Lease Administration, and General Ledger, Accessibility Enhancements for Multiple Products, Allow Accounting Before Electronic Invoices for GST Invoices and Billing, and Withholding Updates in Payables. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.